All right, let's start, I guess. Um, not so many people here, but probably linked to the interrupt. Um, so let's skip the research sites. Uh, innovation, Mark is here. So are there any updates regarding Shutter? Hi. Um, so mostly working on a few uh, stability improvements. Um, so there was some issues before with like um, syncing um, and there was some like missed slots, but I've managed to fix that. Um, although we still haven't fixed the uh, disconnection uh, gossip sub issue, still need to look into that. Um, and also uh, working on connecting with the, the latest keeper deployments. Um, so, so that's working like it can receive the new keys and, and now it's receiving them on time. Um, and also discovered um, an issue on the keeper side with the, the signatures for the decryption keys, um, which I think Yannick is looking into. But yeah, that's it at the moment. And yeah, so we are now integrated with the keepers, right? With the new curve and everything. It, yeah. So um, yeah, no, that is working with the with the new curve. So there's nothing hard coded anymore. Uh, no. Awesome. All right, client updates. None of mine. Any updates? Yeah. So last week we released uh, SnapSync and Halfpath. So Halfpath is default right now. And other than that, we are preparing for extra Devnet. Uh, we are running tests and uh, we have to fix some of them. All right, sounds good. Aragon? Uh, so last week we switched uh, our internal development to Aragon 3, and um, um, this week we are, uh, so we made a release candidate of Aragon 2.60, and uh, we want it to be the last uh, significant release uh, based on Aragon 2. Uh, well, there might still be patch releases uh, in the future, but uh, yeah, we want to, to the bulk of development to be based on Aragon 3. Uh, and Aragon 3 has two big improvements. It can sync much faster than Aragon 2 because it doesn't have it doesn't re-execute all the blocks from Genesis like Aragon 2 does. And also the granularity of state history is much finer. It's uh, on the transaction level rather than the block level. So we're working towards our like first alpha release of Aragon 3. Uh, sorry, just the granular granularity uh, of uh, state, state history. OK. Uh, I have a question. Does that increase uh, the size of the database? uh no not really uh well and like another uh the thing is that we split we are splitting uh we are reducing the size of the main database we are splitting colder bits of uh state history into um like immutable or or slowly changing uh, uh files which we call snapshot files and uh you know, Potentially, Aragon 3 will be um, will be cheaper to run uh, in in cloud because uh, less bits have to be on a super fast uh, NVMe drive, and like colder colder state and colder state history can be on uh, uh, cheaper uh, cheaper disks. Uh, and so there was something with Aragon V2.60, which was the eat get logs um, issue. Um, I think this was merged into main, but is it also in the going to be in V2.60? And uh, so when is the release going to happen? Yeah, so uh, we have a release candidate today, and uh, some not. Uh, uh, provided instructions. Yeah, indeed, there was a regression introduced. Um, uh, in 2.59, and um, in the release notes of uh, 2.60 uh, RC1, um, 
uh, it's it's described how to to what to do to fix the 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 the, the problem with a uh, log pruning um and we so people who who are who are uh, immediately affected by that issue they can try the release candidate and uh, we'll do some internal testing it will take um a, a few days so probably we'll make the final release next week so will everyone have to do this um like this fix for pruning of logs even uh, when v2.60 will be fully released uh, I, I think uh, people uh, like who did, who skipped 2.59, they don't have to do anything. It's only for for people who uh, and also uh, for for our archive nodes uh, nodes without pruning, it's not a problem. All right. Uh, so gateway, uh, Alex, I guess you're here. Um, that's probably something you have to do then for your Aragon nodes because there were it get logs issues on them yeah. on the chain. All right. Uh, for Geth, I think Jung couldn't make it because he's uh, very focused on the interrupt right now. Uh, so no updates as far as I know. Um, Anecdotally, I don't know if I talked about it last week, but I was able to snap sync Nanomind from Geth, but not Geth from Nanomind. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's some known issue on that side. Um, have you tested? I mean, presumably you've tested on mainnet if that works, right? Yeah, I think Carl was testing, so I, I can ask uh, him. And provide you updates yeah that would be awesome thank you all right and for gateway do you have any updates not so far got it all right well i think uh that's enough for today then um well have fun <laughs> with uh, interrupt and yeah if there are any questions or comments please ask now if not then see you next week and thanks for joining bye man bye. thank you bye bye thank you thank you bye